Hi, I'm April, and this is Community Top Questions Answered, a series where we'll answer some of the most commonly asked questions in community. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of how to transform or cast data types so that you can effectively use and manipulate data in your applications. Before you can convert values from one data type to another, you must first understand what a data type is. In order to use data in your applications properly, your application data must conform to certain classifications or data types. The two main kinds of data types are primitive and complex data types. Primitive data types represent kind of data such as text, numbers, or times. Fields and records are each defined as a primitive data type. Complex data types combine multiple primitive data types into a data structure. An example of a complex data type in Appian is the process info data type, which holds information about a running process. In addition to primitive and complex data types, you will also work with Appian object data types, such as users and record types. You can use record types or define custom data types to organize and group data as needed for your application. As you work with data in your application, you may notice that you have to convert values from one data type to another in order to use the data in your expressions. This is called casting. In some cases, a simple conversion is needed, such as converting text string to a date or integer. Appian provides many conversion functions that work with primitive data types. These functions change the data type of a value or series of values to a different specific data type. Most of these functions have names that prefix with two, followed by the data type. An example could be checking how many days there are until the new year. Here, we'll use the toDate function to first convert a text to a date. Then, after subtracting the two dates, we'll use the toInteger function to return the number of days between as an integer. In other cases where you're working with complex data types, you will need to use the cast function. The cast function takes two parameters, the data type to cast to and the value to cast. For the first parameter, you can use the type of function to specify what data type you want to cast to. In this expression, the number 145 is returned as a text type. Alternatively, for the first parameter, you can use type bang and follow with the type name. A use case you may run into is having to cast a record to a custom data type, or a CDT. If you take a look here, you can see how the vehicle record is being cast to the VM vehicle CDT. The CDT here is referenced with type bang followed by the name of the CDT. The expression output shows that the vehicle record values are now cast to the VM vehicle CDT. For more information on casting data types, refer to Appian documentation or visit us at Academy Online. And don't forget to get your free Appian Community Edition to try it for yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.